this guitar uh, is ESP and it has uh, bindings uh, as many guitar has uh, so what I did here is to uh, place the, the whole guitar because this is a set neck guitar so it's, uh, it's, uh, it has no bolts here so I can't uh, uh, take off the neck so I placed it in the CNC and wrote just uh, inside the bindings here round and continue rotating the fret fretboard away so I just uh, do this because then I don't have to mess with the finish on the outside here so I keep the bindings intact to be able to make a new fretboard and place it in and uh, just this is, if it's really tight you know so I have to be careful here so I don't break anything because it's quite fragile on the ends here and the binds, binding sanding alone this way is to place it in so I glue it this way and uh, oh, this particular guitar also has uh, <coughs> crosses here this is uh, the wish of the, this particular customer has ordered this job so what I did is to wrote the inlays of his own design that is supplied with, it, uh, with and uh, wrote the inlays this in this case is uh, mother of pearl these plates cross and uh, see which one I think this goes here yes I don't want to press it because I have to glue it before I do it so it's a really neat way to replace a fretboard. Uh, it's a lot of uh, uh, alignment in the process in the CNC when I do it because the guitar has to be placed perfectly, perfectly uh, true in all axes, like in the X and Y and Z axis on both sides. So I can make the roting. But I didn't. Uh, I didn't uh, glue it yet because this will even have uh, plastic fibers that we come out here a bit really in the, in the side dots here because this customer wants to have it a little bit uh, lightening up where you say so you can see the markers in dark environments so I'm going to place optical fibers here just to drill a hole here down here in the neck pickup uh, pocket and further into the electronic area to place some LEDs there so it's we be able to lead up the silos so if we do that before I will do it. <laughs> 